Several key races in North Texas will head to a runoff after last night's election results. As expected, there will be a runoff election for the 6th Congressional District. 23 candidates ran in that race to fill the seat of late Republic Republican Congressman Ron Wright. His widow, Susan Wright, ended the night with 19% of the vote, followed by State Representative Jake Elzey with 13%. Both candidates will have more time now to convince voters why they are the best person to represent them in Washington. Fox 4's Davidson Tendry live with the latest on the runoff ahead and has more reaction as well tonight. David. Blake, Democrats thought they could flip this congressional seat, but now we're looking at two Republican candidates in this runoff election. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> A special election for the 6th Congressional District, including Southeast Tarrant County, as well as Ellis and Navarro counties, is headed predictably to a runoff. There were two dozen candidates, so it was clear that no one was going to win it, that there would be a runoff. But Democrats were hoping not to be shut out. Republican Jake Elzey, whose campaign was well financed, and Susan Wright, the predicted Republican frontrunner, are now vying for the seat. And so that's two Republicans. I really thought it would be a Republican or a Democrat. Cal Jilson, political science professor at SMU, says between the two dozen candidates, Republicans received a significantly higher percentage of votes. It was 62 to 38. So the Republican turnout was very strong. The Democrat turnout was not strong. The seat belonged to the late Republican Congressman Ron Wright, who died in February following a battle with cancer and COVID-19. His widow, Susan Wright, led candidates with 19 percent of the vote. She has the endorsement of former President Donald Trump. Elsie, who's currently a representative in the Texas House, earned 15 percent, narrowly edging Democratic candidate Jana Lynn Sanchez by less than 400 votes. Democrats have to increase their turnout machine, and they've got to figure out how to talk to Texas voters. Sanchez did place second in Tarrant County, where the vast majority of votes were cast, but Wright won Tarrant and Navarro, while Elsie carried Ellis and Sanchez finished far back in fourth place. Jilson says the Democrats' loss in an election with relatively low turnout points to a bold red picture in Texas. So when you get down to 10, you've got the diehards on both sides, and there are more diehard Republicans in this area than diehard Democrats in the mid-cities area. So I do think that this is one more wake-up call for the Texas Democratic Party to think about what you're doing and why it's not working. Democrats narrowly control the U.S. House and Senate, making races like District 6 in Texas even more important for both parties. You lose one seat and you've lost control of the Senate. You lose five or so and you've lost control of the House. Governor Greg Abbott will set the date for the runoff election.